Hey guys, thanks for um, checking out my uh, website and uh, my patches. I'm going to show you this little track right here that does a demo of eight channel panner. Now, um, the problem is that, well, I'm going to be doing this in stereo. So since I'm going to be doing it in stereo, I decided to give up my one firewire port to this uh, camera. I don't know, I just want it to be in this one a little bit more. I love this fucking sweater. Okay, cool. So, uh, on the first track, we've got this little uh, remote guy, and if you go to it and you hit it close, you see that something disappeared. That's right. Right over here, you have a funny little remote control. Now, if you remove this, remove this remote control a little bit, you'll see that tracks um, three, four, five, and six that there's this sort of um, wave happening. And if you look at the little diagram, you'll see that there's a um, similar little wave happening. Um, similarly, similar, similarly, you'll see that this is going to go on with um, 8, 9, 0, and 1. I mean, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Cool. Now check this out. Ooh, what is that doing? Well, that's a mystery. Well, let's solve that mystery. If I was to uh, take this guy, well, let's be smart. If I was to select multiple guys, make them bigger, okay, and then um, let's take a look at this little controller again by hitting F10. Now, um, if I was to change this little guy, oh, what's going on? I'm changing my stereo pan. Now, if you look over here, see how it says 5, 6, 7, 8, 3, 4, 9, 10? Well, that's because I was using my Motu 8, 2, 8, K, what is it? 828 MK2. And what it's doing for me, which I really appreciate, is it, well, not at the moment, but when I'm not, you know, when I'm using it, it distributes these things as individual channels. So that means that the pan actually is the elevation of a quadraphonic sound, surround sound. So that means that if I had a, a room uh, with four speakers in the corner or four center, four specific points, look at that baby go. Oh, that's exciting. That's really wonderful. I love watching it move around in circles. Cool. What what happens is I can then use the elevation to bring in this added dimension, which gives me E. That's right, E. All right, it's the math can probably be smoothed out using um, uh, exponential equations as opposed to the arithmetic that I've used. But for what I'm doing and for what I've tested, it works just fine for me. Um, it's a starting point, at least, for a, a very reasonable, professional implementation. At least a, a creative one, I'll tell you that. I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be work, it's working really well with my tests with my transmission project. And again, the transmission project is open source uh, in the future. I'd like to work with other talented and uh, inspired individuals, see where we can take that together. Um, this particular implementation is wrapped up though. It's looking really good. I'm excited about the workshops. Anyway, so you can see that this stuff is actually happening. The um, uh, the, tra the, tracks are, the tracks and the channels are lined up the way they need to be. If I come back over here and I say uh, Command M, you'll see that these are actually mini mappable. So um, if I had a mini controller, they are showing up. So I could just map them to a mini controller, which means that if I wanted to do some sort of dynamic changes or swoops or uh, whatever, there it is. It, it's on. So I'm pretty excited about that. And um, I hope that you are too. And please feel free to check it out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the video now. I hope it's helpful. I'm going to